F1 visa. This visa is for high school or college university, including language program, study in the US. Applying to both undergraduate and graduate students. How to get a student visa. Step 1, apply and get accepted to a US school or university. The first step is to apply and eventually gain admission to a US school or university. You may only apply for a student visa after you've applied for and been accepted to and SIF approved school or university. S E V P stands for the Student Exchange and Visitor Program, all U.S. school or university, that enroll F1. Students must be certified by this program. You will find it in the description. Once you've secured admission to the school or university you wish to attend, you can begin the visa application process. Note that, you must receive your visa before your program start date. While you can receive your US student visa in up to 120 days, before your program start date, you may not travel to, the US on this visa until 30 days before your start date. Step 2. Receive Form I-20 or DS-2019 from your school. Once admitted to a school or university, you'll receive a form. F1 students will receive Form I-20, Certificate of Eligibility for Non-Immigrant Student Status. Your school will mail the appropriate form to you. On your form will be your civis ID, your school's or university's address, and other critical information concerning your program. You will need this form for your visa interview, and to pay certain fees, which we discuss next in Step 3. Step 3. Pay the I-901 service fee. Once you receive your I-20 or DS-2019 form from your school or university, go online and pay the I-901 service fee. This fee is 350 US dollars for F1 students. Note that the I-901 service fee is separate from your visa application fee, which we explain more in step 7. Once you've paid this fee, print out your confirmation page, as you'll need to bring it to your visa interview. Step 4. Find your nearest U.S. Embassy or Consulate. You must apply for your international student visa through your nearest U.S. Embassy or Consulate. Step 5. Complete Form DS-160 online. Next, complete the online non-immigrant visa application, also known as Form DS-160. You will find it in the description. To successfully fill out this form, be sure you have the following items on hand. Your passport. A personal photo to upload. Form I-20. You will find the link for a profile picture for download in the description. In addition, you may need to supply a travel itinerary if you've already made travel plans to the US. The dates of your last five visits to the US, if applicable. Or evidence of your international travel history within the past five years. A resume or CV. Additional information depending on your purpose for travel. Note that, you must fill out the entire form in English, 
except when asked to input your full name in your native alphabet. Once you've completed this form, and submitted it online, print out your confirmation page to bring to your visa interview. Step 6. Pay your visa application fee. After you've submitted Form DS-160, pay the 160 US dollars application fee. This fee is the same price, regardless of your country of origin and where you apply. Note that, when you pay this fee, will vary depending on your embassy. Step 7. Schedule your visa interview. Contact your nearest US embassy or consulate to schedule your visa interview. Wait times for interviews vary depending on the embassy. Go to the US visa's website to see the wait times for your embassy. Link of waiting times for a visa appointment. You will find it in the description. Enter via the link, CGI Federal, to book an appointment for the interview. You will find the link in the description. Step 8. Attend your visa interview. The last big step in the visa process is the interview. This interview will be the deciding factor as to whether you will receive a US student visa or not. Before attending your interview, gather the following items and information. Your passport. Your printed DS-160 confirmation page. Your printed I-901. Civis fee confirmation page. Your visa application. Fee payment receipt. Form I-20. For F-1 students. Embassy may require additional forms and documentation, such as Official transcripts from colleges, universities you've attended diplomas, degrees from high schools, colleges, universities you've attended Standardized test scores Proof of sufficient funds by bringing a bank statement Proof of your intent to depart the US at the end of your program During the interview, you will be asked a range of questions in English. These questions will mostly focus on why you want to study at the school or university you've selected and what you intend to do after the program finishes. It is important to clearly state that you do not intend to remain in the US once you complete your program. If your interview is successful, your embassy will then inform you when and how it will return your passport with your new visa to you. To get your visa, you must leave your passport with your embassy. Step 9. Pay the visa issuance fee. Students must pay a visa issuance fee once they have been approved for a US student visa. Step 10. Receive your visa. Once you've completed all of the steps above, and have received approval for an international student visa to the US, your embassy will return your passport to you with your new visa in it. Note that some embassies will require you to come in person to pick it up. Whereas others, We'll mail it directly back to you. Visa processing times will vary depending on your embassy. You can get an estimate as to how long your visa will take to process by going to the US Visas website.